getting so much help on the ground. Well, now at 5.30, two people killed in a helicopter crash in Riverside County have been identified. And authorities say the crash happened about 10 miles north of the Hemet Ryan Airport. Yeah, a call came in about an air emergency just before that helicopter came crashing down. Shelby Nelson is live in Riverside County tonight with the latest on this. Shelby? Yeah, Rick, Kareen, we are now learning that the two people who died in that helicopter crash in Nuevo yesterday were Marietta residents, both men in their 60s. The Riverside County Sheriff's Department released their identities earlier today, and we do know that the first person has been identified as Dennis Foster, 62 years old. He was pronounced dead at 12.59 in the afternoon yesterday. The second person, 61-year-old Mark Carter, according to the county coroner, Carter was pronounced dead seven minutes after Foster. And we don't have any pictures of them to share just yet, but we are working on getting them. Sky 5 captured video from the scene yesterday yesterday afternoon that you're seeing on your screen right now. You can see what's left of that aircraft or what was left of the aircraft after it went down in the remote area of Pulzer View Road and Chastity Road in an unincorporated area of Paris. Federal investigators say it was a Bell 407 helicopter with two people inside. An FAA spokesperson telling City News Service that the, the chopper was a seven seater that's typically used for short haul transportation, utility operations and law enforcement. Now, the crash happening at around 1250 yesterday afternoon afternoon, the Riverside County Sheriff's Office receiving a report of an emergency or an air emergency. I'm told their aviation unit did a flyover and located the crash site. Deputies and firefighters had to hike to the location, and that's when they confirmed both people inside the aircraft had died. The area is roughly 10 miles north of the Hemet Ryan Airport, but it's unclear if that's where the aircraft took off from. The coroner's office responded out yesterday to recover the bodies of the decedents and the NTSB responded out this morning to recover the wreckage of the helicopter. We don't have any information in regards to what led up to the crash. Again, uh, that's part of the FAA and NTSB investigation. And as you heard, the FAA and NTSB are both investigating right now. We have reached out to get more information if they can release any new information about this investigation right now. We do know that the families of the two victims or the people inside that helicopter have been notified. That's why they have been able to identify the two people inside that helicopter. Again, we are still working to get more details on that crash. Reporting live from Riverside County, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News.